Welcome to America News. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption McCain I face some tough adversaries in the past. U.S. President Donald Trump has issued a warning to Senator John McCain a day after his fellow Republican delivered a thinly veiled attack in a speech. People have to be careful because at some point I fight back, Mr. Trump told a Washington radio station on Tuesday. On Monday, the senator deplored half-baked, spurious nationalism in a perceived slight at Mr. Trump's so-called America First policy. A former prisoner of war, Mr. McCain was diagnosed with brain cancer in July. In being very, very nice but at some point I fight back and it won't be pretty, Mr. Trump told WMAL on Tuesday in response to a question about the senator's remarks. Mr. McCain was asked by journalists about Mr. Trump's remark, and he responded I have faced tougher adversaries. Receiving the Liberty Medal in Philadelphia a day earlier, the six-term senator from Arizona warned against the U.S. surrendering its international leadership. Mr. McCain was applauded as he said to fear the world we have organized and led for three-quarters of a century, to abandon the ideals we have advanced around the globe, to refuse the obligations of international leadership and our duty to remain the last best hope of Earth for the sake of some half-baked, spurious nationalism cooked up by people who would rather find scapegoats than solve problems is as unpatriotic as an attachment to any other tired dogma of the past that Americans consign to the ash heap of history. We live in a land made of ideals, not blood and soil, he continued. We have done great good in the world. That leadership has had its costs, but we have become incomparably powerful and wealthy as we did. Liberated from ballot box backlash analysis by Anthony Zercher, BBC News, Washington John McCain, in the twilight of a career in public service that spans four decades, is telling America how he really feels. He's not happy about what Donald Trump is doing to the Republican Party and the nation. This ISNT the first time Mr. McCain has criticized the president, but these are some of his most direct comments ones offered after the senator matched words with actions, voting twice against health care reform bills the president was pushing. Just last week another Republican senator, Bob Corker, verbally sparred with the president. Like Mr. McCain, Mr. Corker who recently announced his retirement has probably faced voters for the last time. Both are liberated from any ballot box backlash from angry Trump supporters. Their criticisms will no doubt sting the president. Until Republican politicians in power and those who want to stay there join the public critiques, however, these swipes, no matter how direct, may have little lasting significance. Follow at all Zercher, the Liberty Medal is an award recognizing leadership in pursuit of freedom whose previous recipients have included Hillary Clinton, Steven Spielberg, Muhammad Ali and Tony Blair. Mr. McCain was presented with the medal by former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, whose eldest son died from the same type of cancer Mr. McCain now has. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption Watch McCain topple Trump's skinny repeal healthcare bill. Mr. Biden praised the courage and loyalty of his former colleague and ex Navy pilot. Mr. McCain recently torpedoed Trump backed Republican attempts to repeal and replace Obamacare, the 2010 healthcare law. According to political website Axios, the U.S. president mocked Mr. McCain's thumbs-down gesture as he rejected one of the bills. Mr. McCain has limited mobility of his arms as a result of his injuries. From being shot down and tortured in a North Vietnamese prison. During his presidential campaign, Mr. Trump was criticized when he said Mr. McCain was not a war hero, adding I like people who weren't captured.